What is benign paroxysmal position of vertigo? It is the commonest cause of acute vertigo, acute and recurrent vertigo, probably in the world. And it's due to simply some crystals forming in the semicircular canals. And the commonest form is posterior canal, mm -hmm. BPPV is the acronym. And when the patient moves their head, these crystals, which are calcium carbonate crystals, are heavier than the endolymph, and they sink inside the canal, and they stimulate the mechanism inside the inner ear, which then provokes a vestibular response, and that response will then move to the vestibular spinal pathways, and activate balance uh, mm -hmm. pathways, cause the patient to feel off balance, will activate eye movement pathways, you'll get a nystagmus, and also will activate vestibular perceptual regions in the cerebral cortex, and that's why patients get vertigo. Uh, we will have a section later on on special situations with respect to the elderly. Um, an important thing about the elderly is quite often they don't complain of the vertigo, mm -hmm. but they certainly have the nystagmus, which you can pick up, and they certainly will have the postural responses, and that's why they fall. So that's why in a previous video we said that, pay, that the GPs always need to do the whole pike, and that's one of the key messages, always do the whole pike or modify the whole pike, which we'll have in a video for you. Um, two more points. We will show you how to treat this. Uh, and um, the second thing is the outcome is very good. Any movement in the head? It's typically in posterior canal uh, BPPV, it's usually patients looking up, bending down, because it's within the plane of mov movement of the posterior canals, but also turning over in bed. So we did have a touch on trying to distinguish between mm -hmm. BPPV and postural hypotension. And just to repeat, the killer question to distinguish between the two is, when you turn over in bed, do you feel dizzy? And the answer would be yes for BPPV, but no for postural hypotension. So an elderly patient typically lifting his head up, feeling dizzy. Yes. That's BPPV? Yes, and it's never vertebral basilar insufficiency. We will cover that in the myths busting section. Um, I remember as a medical registrar myself, walking around the ward, making umpteen diagnoses of vertebral basilar insufficiency. But of we course, have. I didn't know at the time. I subsequently understood they're all patients with BPPV.